Happy New Year, everybody. Yeah, that's Granny there. Very excited for this new year, it sounds like to me. Right, Granny? Oh, boy. You requested a contest and uh, it didn't go so well. What happened? I put it on right after midnight last night so they'd have lots of time. Midnight on New Year's Eve is when you announced this contest the day before. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Whoever sent me that senior book. Oh, God. It never got to Did me. Did they because... really send it? Vinny, you opened the present. Was that book for Granny, or was it just a book about old people? It was for me. And it, Are it you awake about... over there, Vinny? I'm not I, I, asking you, Granny. No. I'm asking Vinny. I sort of remember there being a He was a book impaired. To Granny from David Davis. I'm gonna... It's a Granny present? Yes. It got That's thrown right. in the garbage. Now Granny has not stopped talking about this book. It was a gag book, Granny. It was a goofy, wacky, gr- bag. Ah! Mm-hmm. Let's see if we've got any questions from the chat here. There's a broom on your floor. You know that? Yeah. I know. You know, I was thinking about that. <laughs> of all the things, it's too far to walk to put it where it belongs. Sure. So I just throw it on the floor for a while, and I just give it a fling. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Isn't that normal? No, that's not normal at all. The 10 most boring divas. Marina Sliff. S L E A F I C. Shafir. Marina Shafir. S K A F I C. Scafic? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure glad I I'm sure glad I can ha- ma- make Vinny smile. Perfect. Zoom in on that broom, Jared. Can you do that for me? What details of this broom do you think you're gonna find? Make sure yeah, there's no blood on it or anything. It's a, a broom, all right. Broomiest broom I ever saw. There it is. Look uh, at that broom. Holy crap. Man, God. it's got bristles it's just laying and a handle. There. Jade, very dramatically, stood in the ring. Looked this way. Looked this way. Furrowed her brow. Where is she? Well, she fucking walked out. Tony Schiavone shares with us that anyone who would try to break a cinder block over his friend's chest is just not a good person. <laughs> That's fair. Look at this here. We've got uh, one... Two, three, four, five. Wow. Uh, 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 five good. songs. Will Vince McMahon be back this year and the stock no. prices decline? <laughs> wow. <laughs> totally, totally bizarre. The Nazis were defeated. Nazis were defeated. Happy New Year, everybody. Anybody? I have never been so confused in my life. <laughs> Anybody? You guys didn't notice something, did you? The broom's gone. No, the broom isn't gone. It's still right it's there. <laughs> I knew there was something I was supposed to do. <laughs> You've left it there for days. Get out of here, Granny. <laughs> Alexa Bliss versus Bianca Belair. Oh. I gave that a six. You gave that a six. Yeah, why not? Because it sucked. As far as I'm concerned, all of it's stuff, so that doesn't make any difference. I'm waiting for Uncle Howdy to just peek his head up behind Sean with that red light. Do you think Vince will come back? I heard rumors that he's trying to come back. No. Are you sure? He's done. How, how can they keep him out if he owns it? I only have one of these. Vince leaving. <laughs> <laughs> What? One of the worst ones. Are you not a fan of this leaving? <laughs> what? <laughs> Never mind. Okay, let's start over. No! Uh, His delivery makes it even funnier. He's on fire. You're too damn selfish. That's why you're sitting there with a bad leg. And that's why I kicked your leg out of your... Like... <laughs> well, he said, I, I, I kicked your leg out. And there's a, there's a minuscule pause. And yeah, he knows like, he has to continue. And all that can come out is... Of your leg. <laughs> I was dying. I watched it over and over again. Went to uh, Dynamite yesterday. Yeah. I got to the building at uh, 11. We did uh, Talk is Jericho yesterday. And then we did another Talk is Jericho tonight. With you, in fact. It did come off as a big win for Ricky Starks. It didn't come off as he beat a guy who's on a losing streak. It came off as he was beating a star. And he beat up the guy's henchman. And the heat for this match was just Unbelievable.
unbelievable. Oh, yeah. We could not hear Hangman. Then we could not hear Moxley. They got through this, and their perform- performances were still very good, but as a whole, the segment did not work. And, uh, you know, Moxley was his entrance and exit ramp or tunnel was uh, not far from where we were sitting, and he was furious. <laughs> Max Caster did a rap last week that made a lot of people very, very angry. And there's all sorts of accusations and name callings on Twitter. Karen Jarrett, like, she got really mad. Yeah. And then she made accusations. And then people that were accused had to, like, defend themselves and say it wasn't true. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. What a fucking shitstorm this whole thing caused. Yes. I have been praised by some of the greats in this industry, such as Disco Inferno and Eric Bischoff. And best of all, Jim Cornette. Because MGF is brilliant, you see. A rematch of one of the great matches in Lucha Underground history, the Hell of War match. If you like blood and guts and blood and blood and blood and guts and guts and guts, that's a match for you. Nothing has ever been more appropriately called the death spot as Jade Cargill and Red Velvet versus Kiera Hogan and Sky Blue. The only thing I can compare this to is I was in Anaheim for the UFC show when Cain Velasquez beat Brock Lesnar. Everyone goes crazy. I'm looking around. Adults are jumping up and down with joy. They have seen their hometown hero triumph over the big scary monster. Like, pro wrestling is magical. I knew the debut in Seattle was going to go great. It was like inevitable. Anytime someone was surprised about the crowd or this or that, I wasn't. It was obvious. Kenny Omega and Will Ospreay. The entrances alone are like eight stars for this. There's a very good possibility this is the greatest match that ever has taken place on the planet Earth. I paid $7.70 in the month of January to watch this match. If you do not pay $7.70 to watch this match, you are a fool. A hopeless, hopeless fool. Nobody films a match better than New Japan Pro Wrestling. If you want to talk about all the other aspects of production, knock yourself out. But as far as filming a match and putting it on tape or whatever... New Japan is the king. 